Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video here on Aviation Clothes. This is another episode of Aviation Daily, a show where we talk about all news that happened in the aviation world today. So first of all is the Airbus A330neo. Um, if you have watched our previous video called the Airbus A330neo World Tour, uh, you know that they are flying it around the world. And if you haven't watched it already, go like, go watch the video. Uh, the link is in the description. Anyways, the aircraft, uh, the Airbus A330neo, uh, has begun the world tour. The aircraft is currently, or it flew from Toulouse to Lisbon, and the aircraft is currently is in Lisbon, as I am filming this video, but in, in the next hours, uh, the aircraft will fly to Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Uh, more, we have... Uh, Emirates flight EK-16 from London Gatwick to Dubai uh, the aircraft had a technical problem and it had to divert to London Heathrow and uh, this aircraft had uh, the problem was uh, with its landing gears it couldn't retract landing gears so they decided to divert to Heathrow and you might be wondering why Heathrow and not uh, return to Gatwick because at first it might look like returning to Gatwick is the easiest decision but actually um, Emirates flies so often to Heathrow that they have a team a tech team in Heathrow so that's why they decided to divert to Heathrow more we also have the first Airbus A350-1004 Cafe Pacific the aircraft arrived in Hong Kong and there are plenty of videos out there um, I'll link a video in the description with uh, the Airbus A350-1000 landing in Hong Kong. There was a special visitor to London Heathrow today was the Royal Jordan Jordanian Cargo sending a Airbus A310 freighter. The aircraft flew from Amman to London Heathrow. Scoot, which is an airline owned by Singapore Airlines, opened a new route between Singapore and Berlin in Germany. It is the first flight of Scoot for Germany and their second flight uh, to Europe. Uh, the first flight being uh, Singapore to Athens in Greece. Also, Boeing delivered the first Boeing 737 MAX 8 for Jet Airways, an airline by, based in India. Also, uh, we have photos of the first Boeing 737 MAX 8 to wear WestJet's new livery. The aircraft is currently performing uh, test flights in uh, Renton, where Boeing manufactures the Boeing 737 MAX 8, and it should be delivered to the airline in the coming weeks. More, we have a delivery for Qatar Airways. Qatar Airways is taking delivery of a new Boeing 7 triple, a new Boeing 777-300ER. The aircraft has a registration of a 7 Bravo Echo uniform. We have photos of the interior of the first Boeing 737 MAX 8 for Jet Airways. The aircraft um, is divided into business and economy class with 12 uh, business class seats and they surprisingly look pretty nice for a uh, Boeing 737. Today also um, there were long delays for flights in and out of Bali then Bazaar and the reason for this is that an aircraft was stuck on the runway. Unfortunately, um, we couldn't find more details on the aircraft that got stuck on the runway, but we do know that many, many, many flights uh, were, um, were delayed due to this problem. Also, um, the final assembly of the next Airbus A350-900 for Finnair has started. Um, the aircraft will be delivered later this year, uh, probably in December. And Delta has placed place a firm order for 20 CRJ900. Uh, Delta is the launch operator of the new Atmosphere cabin for this Bombardier CRJ. The new CRJ900 aircraft with Atmosphere cabin will fly under the Delta Connection brand in a comfortable two-class regional jet configuration with 70 seats. Delta Airlines will take delivery of the world's first atmosphere cabin CRJ900 late in 2018. And more orders, we have FedEx Express. Uh, they announced an order for 24 new white body freighters, 12 7, 
six seven and more twelve triple seven freighters. Uh, the airline continues to grow in the freight market, views a, a replacement cycle. This order for twenty four new white body aircraft is listed at six point six billion US dollars. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe and be sure to follow us on Instagram if you want to keep up to date with all the news. Thank you and goodbye.